multiply the polynomials. Let's go ahead and work through its solution. Many people use FOIL. Um, I do the same thing, but I do it a little bit differently because I feel like this way is better because if you had like an extra term here, you could still do it this way. So you take this number, the first one you see, and then just multiply it by everything you see over here on the right. So let's do that. So 7 times x is 7x, and then 7 times negative 8 is negative 56. Then you just go to the next one. So now you go to 3x. So 3x is here, and you do the same thing. You multiply it by all the ones over here on the right. So 3x times x is 3x squared, and then 3x times negative 8 is negative 24x. <laughs> uh, for some reason that was difficult. 3 times 8 is 24. Okay, now we can just clean stuff up. So this is 7x. Oh, we can combine the x's here. Look at this. 7x minus 24x is going to give us a minus 17x. And then we have minus 56 plus 3x squared. And that's an okay answer. It's just people usually write the term with the biggest exponent first. Let's go ahead and do that. So this will be 3x squared minus 17x minus 56. And that'll be the final answer. That's it.